This video is brought to you by trevorbauer.com. We got sword shirts coming very soon, so be sure to check it out and get yourself some merch. Let's talk Jock Peterson. First thing is first, let's watch what happened. Y'all probably know what happened, but Jock hit an absolute nuke. So here Jock is getting in the box. He kind of spits, he's ready to get in the box. And now someone says something and he steps out, all right? And I can't tell exactly who said what, but he clearly stepped out and looked over there and kind of spits at him. He looks very annoyed. All right, now one thing to say on that before we get going too much, it's very rare that you get a guy that's in the box that can hear what a fan is saying, especially in a stadium that has this many people in it, okay? So whoever was saying it had to be very loud and had, had to be very kind of noteworthy, stand out. Okay, let's see what happens. Ah, uh, get off me ball. That ball's an absolute nuke. It hits way up out of there. I think he hit it 110. 435 feet, something like that. Bang! And he looks immediately at this guy. Now, one thing to point out right here, let's just, let's look at this guy. Was that the guy that was saying something? Is that, I mean, we got, it looks like these four people are together, okay? This one's like, uh, that's probably not good. This one's in a Brewers jersey, but like seems to be pointing into orbit. Like that ball's disappearing. Maybe she's a Giants fan, I can't tell. Uh, looks like Brewers, maybe it's Giants. She seems excited. This guy's like, oh no. And is this the guy talking? He's like, I just talked all this crap and like, oh no, I don't know. If you're this guy and you weren't the one talking, comment below, let me know. So I'm sorry to throw you under the bus, but anyway, that's what it kind of looks like. Jock looks over there, he's all fired up, which is tight. That's an absolute nuke, that's an absolute nuke. All right, so he comes home and he says right here, he's yelling something. Now, it's hard to know exactly what he's yelling, but I will play the audio so you can hear it. It sounds to me like he's saying, that's what you get, fucking pussy. So sorry for the language, I'm just trying to read what he was saying. Now, he's telling the fan that, the fan was yelling something at him, and Jock hits a nuke, an absolute nuke, 435 feet, just an absolute bomb, and he's trolling the fan back. Now. Let's talk about this whole fan interaction thing as it relates to trolling. First and foremost, I wanna get this out of the way before we go any further in this video. There are certain lines as a fan that you can never cross in talking to a player. You cannot talk about that player's family. The family has nothing to do with the player on the field. You cannot talk about the player's race. You cannot talk about the player's religion. And there are other lines that you cannot talk about if you're a fan, talking to a player on the field, okay? That's not an exhaustive, exhaustive list. Those are just things off the top of my head that are off limits as far as heckling goes. Now, with that being said, there are plenty of other things that are within the limits. If you wanna tell a player that he sucks, by all means, go for it. If you wanna tell a player that he's fat, by all means, go for it, all right? There are certain levels between the player and the fan specifically, if you keep it there, whatever. I'm all for that because personally, I like when fans are heckling me. I like when fans show up to the ballpark and they feel engaged in the game and they're trying to get in your head so long as they don't cross those certain lines, all right? Just be prepared for the player to do it back. And I think that that's good for the game, personally. This moment went viral, not because of the home run, but this went viral because of the fan interaction between Jock and the fan heckling him and that back and forth. That's great for the game. I think it's great for fans to go to the game and want to heckle the player. If that's how they enjoy the game, that's how they enjoy the game. I'm all for that. Again, so long as you don't cross the line. But I'm also all for players giving it right back to a fan. Now, I mentioned earlier that it's unlikely that a player standing in the box is going to hear something from a fan in the stands. Normally where this would happen is a player standing in the on-deck circle. And we've seen some of those things. I think Manny Machado had uh, an incident like that. Joey Votto had an incident like that. There's plenty of incidents that have been seen where a fan sitting right by the on-deck circle is heckling a player. So in this case, clearly Jock heard something in the box, which means that someone had to be pretty darn loud and saying something pretty darn offensive to get Jock to step out of the box and look over there and, and take notice of it, right? I've been part of someone sitting by the dugout where they're heckling uh, a player. Now, I've been on the receiving end of this. Uh, teammates of mine have been on the receiving end of this. 
I'm all for it. The fans in those instances stayed within the bounds of what they were saying. Hey, you suck. Hey, you suck. You, you this. You gave up five runs yesterday, whatever the case is. Now, if you're going to do that as a fan and someone in the dugout happens to chew up 10 pieces of bubble gum and make it all sloppy and throw it up there in the stands into your lap, uh, if they throw it up there and it happens to hit your girlfriend in the face, look, I think that's part of, uh, that's part of what you agreed to, okay? Uh, don't cross lines. There's the, the Adam Jones thing, I believe, um, in Baltimore. I think that's where it was. I know there was something in Fenway, something along racial lines. That is absolutely, under no circumstances, okay. You cannot do that. No one can do that. Uh, but if you're going to heckle someone, hey, Jock, you suck, you're hitting a buck fifty, or hey, Jock, you're fat, or hey, Trevor, you gave up six runs yesterday, or hey, your ERA is blah, 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 like, okay, well, I'm going to give it back to you. All right, so that's my opinion on this. I think this is a great moment for baseball. I hope they don't do anything to Jock for saying this because this moment went viral and entertained a ton of fans. And I think it's just awesome to have this out there. I mean, how cool is it for Jock Peterson to hear a fan and be like, man, F you, dude, hit a homer and then get to yell at the guy, F you. Now in baseball now, we have these nets between the field and the dugout. I think that's good. There's a clear separation between the fan and the player, but words can go back and forth. I'm all for that. I've been in the dugout when people have been yelling at me. I can't tell you how many times people have been right behind the dugout in a visiting team, a visiting stadium, and they've been heckling me, and I'll turn around and I'll kind of talk back and I'll say something to them, and we'll have this two, and, two or three inning back and forth where we're kind of trolling each other, and eventually at the end of it, they're all kind of laughing because I'm interacting with them. I'm kind of laughing because I'm dunking on them nonstop because, of course, you can't out-troll me. Uh, that's good. That's fun. It's all lighthearted. I'm in for it. So I think it's sick for Jock to do this. Like in what other sport can you like hear a fan talk crap and then just whack and talk back? I mean, I guess the NBA, we see it in the NBA all the time, right? But that's kind of dangerous because if you, the fans like right there on the court, I mean, we've seen that boil over into the stands and that gets ugly, right? But in baseball, like we don't have those moments where we're like up against you playing defense, bumping bodies down in the paint for 40 minutes where we get to like talk back and forth and talk smack to each other. So anytime that there can be st stuff like this on the field where players are talking smack back and forth, I love it because it gets the competition level up. It takes the stakes up. Anytime there can be stuff like this with the fan, as long as it's good natured and we don't cross the lines that I mentioned, anytime there can be this back and forth with the fan and the player, I like it because it drives the intensity up. Playing in Petco last year was awesome because the fans were trolling and yelling at me. Playing in San Fran, awesome because the fans are trolling and yelling at me. Now I'm gonna give it back like this. I'm gonna give you a sword. I'm gonna give you one of these. I'm gonna like pump the crowd up after I strike out the side. Like we're gonna interact, but that's gonna make the game more fun for me, more fun for the team and more fun for the fans, which is the most important part. So all in all, fair play to everyone in this video, except for if the fan crossed one of the lines, I don't know what was said. I haven't talked to Jock about it, haven't heard what the fan said, so if the fan crossed the line, then you can't do that. If not, if it was good-natured heckling, this moment's freaking sick, and it's awesome for baseball. That's my take on it. If you haven't already, go to trevorbauer.com, keep your eye out, sword shirt's coming soon. See you guys in the next video.